You know who loves right triangles? Our favorite Greek, Pythagoras. He was so into right triangles that he came up with a whole theory, or theorem as they say, about them. In this lesson, we're going to talk about using his theory. We'll also go through some special triangles, which if you memorize them, will help you solve ACT problems faster than you can say Spanakopita, which by the way, is a delightful triangular treat. As you probably remember, right triangles have one angle that's 90 degrees. If you know the lengths of any two sides, you can always solve for the missing side length by using the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Remember that C must be the hypotenuse, the side directly across from the right angle. Let's apply this to an ACT problem. If a right triangle has legs of lengths 5 and 1, what is the length of its hypotenuse? F is 2, G is 5, H is the square root of 6, J is the square root of 26, and K is 2 times the square root of 26. As always, underline the facts, circle the key words, and label those answers. We're going to use our favorite drawing picture strategy for this one. So let's draw a picture for this problem and put the information given in the problem into the drawing. Start by drawing a right triangle. We're told that the legs have lengths of 5 and 1. The legs are the sides of a right triangle that are perpendicular to each other, the sides that aren't the hypotenuse. We'll label the hypotenuse as C. We're now ready to apply the Pythagorean theorem. Plug 5 in for A and 1 in for B. We get 5 squared plus 1 squared equals C squared. So 25 plus 1 equals C squared, or 26 equals C squared. Taking the square root of both sides, we get the square root of 26 equals C, which is choice J. The triangle we just solved was a right triangle whose sides weren't all integers. You might remember that integer means a whole number that can be expressed without any digits after the decimal. You'll see a lot of triangles like that on the ACT, but you'll also see two particular right triangles whose side lengths are integers. They are 3, 4, 5 right triangles and 5, 12, 13 right triangles. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared, or 25 and 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared, or 169. Notice that the side lengths follow the Pythagorean theorem. If you don't recall the triangles, you can always use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the missing side length. A lot of times, the ACT will hide 3, 4, 5, and 5, 12, 13 triangles in other shapes. Let's take a look at an ACT problem where triangles are hiding in a trapezoid. In the following figure, FBCE is a rectangle, while ABF and ECD are congruent right triangles. What is the area of the quadrilateral ABCD? F is 12, G is 24, H is 30, J is 45, and K is 48. As always, underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label those answers. We can shade in the area that we're solving to ensure that we answer the right question. In this case, We'll shade in the whole shape. In order to find the area of this trapezoid, we need to first find the area of the two triangles ABF and ECD, and the rectangle BCEF in the middle. To find these areas, we need to know the length of BF. Luckily, BF is one of the legs of the right triangle ABF. Also, the question tells us that one of the legs is 3 and the hypotenuse is 5. Because we know our 3, 4, 5 triangles, we can tell right away that the missing side, BF, must have the length of 4 without even using the Pythagorean theorem. Now we can find the area of triangle ABF by using the formula area equals 1 half base times height. Plugging in 3 for the base and 4 for the height, we get 1 half times 3 times 4, which is 6. Since we know the area of the triangle on the left is 6, and the problem states ABF and ECD are congruent, we know that the area of the triangle on the right is also 6. Now we need to find the area of the rectangle in the middle. The formula for the area of a rectangle is length times width. The length is 3 and the width is 4. 3 times 4 equals 12. So the total area of the shape ABCD equals 6 plus 12 plus 6, or 24, which is answer choice G. Whew. Have a cupcake to celebrate that slang. Remember that the ACT loves to test you on these right triangles and will often hide them in more elaborate shapes. If you memorize them now, you'll save a lot of time on test day. 
But if you don't recognize them, or are given a right triangle with different dimensions, know that the Pythagorean theorem has your back. And make sure you take advantage of all the practice problems we have available for you throughout this course.